let's work on question four in this video. So we have a table, we have a table with total product, average product, and marginal product, and we have to we have to fill it in. So before we do that, let's just understand real quick what what are we talking about. The average product is gonna be the total product that we have relative to all the labor that we have because the relationship is between labor and the production and then the marginal product is going to be the change in total production when we increase labor by one unit so it's the change in total production relative to the change in labor so let's use this to work out the math now so we have here for instance when we have zero labor the average product is also zero meaning that we had no production at all so there was zero total labor now when we go from zero to one when we increase production by one unit sorry when we go from zero to one when we increase labor by one unit one more employee we can see that now he produces 180 on average that means that we have 180 in total relative to the number of labor which is one and that's equal to 180 and the marginal product is going to be the change that we had in total product without the first employee and now that we have the first employee so it changes from 0 to 180 meaning the marginal product the additional product is going to be 180 now let's use the same logic to keep going to the second employee so we go with our labor from 1 to 2 what's going to be what's going to be over here we can see that we must find out total product and average product knowing that the marginal product is 140 meaning that the total production increased by 140 relative to the total production before so it used to be 180 it increased by 140 so in total it has to be 320 and on average for the two employees that we have that's going to be 320 divided by 2 that's an average of 160 average product now let's go to the third employee we go from 2 to 3 in our labor so we have now the total product increasing from 320 to 420 it increased by a hundred units so the marginal product is going to be a hundred and the average product is going to be the average of this 420 spread over three employees so 420 divided by three that's going to give us a hundred and forty uh, 140 average product and let's do it one more time for the last one going from f 3 to 4 from 3 to 4 what do we have we have only the average product meaning that the average product for four employees is gonna be 120 in total they must produce 120 times 4 which is going to be 480 just to check it 480 in total spread over four employees gives us the 120 so the math works out now how much did it change from the previous total product it changed by 60 from 420 to 480 we increased the additional the marginal product by 60 and that's it we are done